All right, guys, so let me turn off the noise maker real quick. Hopefully my laptop don't make noise. Uh, this is uh, up on the Fernand Saddle. This is an area where I actually do come a lot. Today, I will tell you, is probably one of the last times I'll drive this route. So it's kind of... <laughs> A sentimental thing here. It's a beautiful day out. It's been overcast all day. It's uh, still below the freezing mark. When I drive up, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can tell where that water is. It's all just ice. It, there's no water. It's all ice now. And uh, just wanted to show you one of probably the most beautiful areas I've found up here. I'll be coming down Blue Creek. It's a beautiful area. It's all dirt road. Now, before I move, let me go ahead and see if we can see something here. This fuel gauge has still been slightly wigged, but I think it's, except for the fuel light, I think it's working. And since I blew out the filter, which uh, I actually need to get the filter reattached to the motor because it's just kind of hanging there. Oh, shoot. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It's been taking a little bit to go up. So I'll be keeping an eye on the fuel, but I should still have about an eighth of a tank in this girl. Yeah. Looks like it's about an eighth of a tank. Alright. Show you real quick what I mean about this ice. You guys are attached to the lappy, so... I'm trying to charge the phone. Yeah. See, that's... All ice. It's been cold. We've been catching freeze, and... Yeah, you you can. I don't know if that comes through on the phone, but you can hear that underneath the tires. Okay, so fuel situation. Yeah, it's about an eighth of a tank. Then I'm going off roading. Woo! I was off roading, not on purpose though. The trip down Blue Creek, I've done a bunch. In fact, this is an area where I get wood a lot. Um, I've seen deer, I've seen moose, haven't seen any elk out in this part though, which is actually quite amazing, but, uh, it's a beautiful area, it's a very beautiful drive, I've, <laughs> I've actually raced to this, uh, got into a little challenge against the Ford Ranger when I was driving my F-150. And we were hauling tail down this road, and I mean hauling tail. I was slipping that rear end around. It was quite fun. Very fun, actually. This road is never the best. I don't know, fuel situation, I might take Fernand down now. Might just go a short ways, turn around and head Fernand down because this is a 15 mile drive and I don't know what I'm averaging my fuel gauge has been completely dorked up it does not know what it's doing yeah I'm gonna turn around after I get to the shooting range here Look at this area. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to need to turn. Just so I don't chance it, if you guys know what I mean. Look at that, it's starting to open up out there, right there. 
One of the things that I'm noticing is uh, there's a lot of beetle kill. I apologize, you guys are attached to the laptop, so it's hard to move the phone around. There are all these pines and spruce that are turning yellow like. Shoot. You can't see it very well from this, but there's a lot of them there actually dying because the beetle kill, like that one right there, is actually a yellowish. And all these. This is the shooting range. Well, one of the shooting ranges. Ooh, there's a lot of bark right there. There's Anybody in North Idaho who's watching this, don't throw your trash up here. Pack it out, please. Anybody who goes into the mountains, pack out your trash, please. That is a plug from your nice and courteous hillbilly at called Buffberg. <laughs> I just don't like seeing trash up here. I I love this area. I try to take pride in it. I will say in uh, the people's defense up here that Idaho is quite a bit cleaner than some of the areas where I've been. So this is actually a very beautiful area. It's just, don't leave your trash, please. <laughs> At any rate. The other thing, I think blowing out that fuel filter made my truck run a little bit better because I must have, there must have been some crud in it before all that stuff happened because it's, she's got a little bit more power. And that's with the cruddy fuel filter, so I don't know. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out my fuel usage. I don't know if it's better or worse. I think it's better because, uh, shoot, I've gone a pretty long ways on this tank. And oh well. Well, then another thing that. If those of you who followed on the Google Plus and uh, those of you on Facebook who have followed have probably read this, but I do want to say it. Past few days have been very awesome. I keep on mentioning about fuel filter, fuel problems. Well, here's the flip side of the coin. The fuel that you're seeing in here was all given to me. This is all free fuel. And uh, the only reason why I'm actually, technically, in a sense, I am wasting a little bit of fuel by coming up here. I didn't have a purpose of coming up here other than just to relax for just a second and, I guess, be sentimental. Because <laughs> this will be one of the last times I'll drive this, probably. It is the last time, I don't know. But, I've been given $23 worth of free fuel, thanks to a bunch of, actually, random strangers. And I really do appreciate it. But it just goes to tell you that you help out on anything. I mean, you show yourself friendly, and then sooner or later, it'll pay itself back. I've been a friend on the road since 2001, and uh, people know my handle. There are quite a few drivers that know me, and uh, it's been repaid. I feel 
very humbled that people would do that, and I really do appreciate it. I I want to say a thank you. If any of you that have helped out stumble across this video, I don't know if you ever will, but I do say a big thank you for helping me. The timing has been impeccable. I needed it. This has been the most critical point of my life. Well, of this month, this was the most critical time to get help. And thank you. Eagle does say thank you. I really appreciate it. So, and uh, those of you who are listening, I really fully intend of reciprocating the favors so that there's a song that uh, I believe it is Clint Black. I don't remember. <laughs> I found the song and I was listening to it on YouTube, but it, it simply says, Don't let the chain of love end with you. And, uh, yeah, it's dealing with a bunch of different stuff. And really, in all actuality, my situation... It doesn't mention the specifics of what I'm going through, but it makes so much sense because the favor that one person did got repaid in the very end. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful example of what's happening now. And I guess it's an encouragement to all of you. It's, it goes to that old statement. And what comes around goes around, and it's very, very true. It definitely does. So, if you can extend a hand in whatsoever way you can, do it, because it does come back to you. Well, oh, jeez. I might dead stick to me just so I'm not running fuel. That just dropped. I'm in gear still. Oh lord, let me get to fuel station. I don't know what my fuel gauge is doing. It's been very weird. Alright guys, well it's a little bit lengthier of a video, but it's it's a one that I hope is an encouragement. I hope that it kind of shows some of the beauty of this area and uh, as a thank you for some people who are out there. So, I very much appreciate it. Clear roads and uh, wish you best travels.